little bit of care can save a lot of expense and needless litigation arising from our decisions. The other cases which started at the High Court traveled all the way to the Apex Court. But I will put emphasis on the High Court judgment in order to press home the point I'm going to take, I'm going to make. It is case number CA, J4-2-2014, Alex Abouadje and Moses Asian and 257 others. The versus or against the Attorney General, the official liquidator, dated 24 February 2016. The facts of the case briefly stated are as follows. The plaintiffs claimed they were ex-employees of the defunct Black Star Line called the company. Following the liquidation of the company, all the employees naturally lost their jobs. The plaintiffs sued to recover compensation for loss of employment. The compensation was limited to ex gratia awards and end of service benefits. A lot of evidence was led by accredited representatives of the various groups of employees, as well as by the defendants. The defendants challenged the status of the plaintiffs as ex-employees of the company. In short, they denied that the plaintiffs, who claimed to have worked for periods of up to 12 years or more, were, were employees of the company. It means they were challenging me in their capacity, that they are not employees. The court judge upheld the plaintiff's claim. There was no evaluation of the facts, let alone for the court to make findings of fact. There was not a single reason given for the decision. In these circumstances, one would have expected the first appellate court to have sent the record back to the trial high court to make the appropriate findings of fact and give reasons for its decisions. The Court of Appeal rightly condemned this, but decided to do what the trial court failed to do. It is believed that the trial court, which presents this kind of incomplete judgment, will be called upon to complete what it is required by law to do, to make findings of fact and enter judgment for a party on a balance of probabilities and give reasons for the choices it makes. The findings of fact, as well as the reasons given for the decision, enable a party aggrieved or affected by the judgment to decide to appeal on what grounds, unquote. I believe you agree with me that this was real shoddy and lazy work by the trial judge. The superior courts are courts of record, meaning their decisions constitute the law for the time being. That is why a whole institution of state has been set up to publish their decisions. And how do we expect such decisions to be published? And how do you expect recommendations for promotion on this showing? 